What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. It's time to get started in earnest on this ultimate work truck project. In the last episode, I signed my life away on a loan on a new work truck. The truck is a 2012 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD with the 6.0 liter Vortec engine. It does have four wheel drive, but it's the work truck trim level, so it doesn't have a whole lot else. We talked about the goals for this project series last time and I'll flash them up on the screen but I won't go over them again for you. So as I was driving the truck home I hadn't even gone five miles when I started to see the service tire monitor system warning light appear on the dash. So I immediately called the dealership and let them know of the problem and they said that they would take care of it. They told me to just take it to a tire shop, get it repaired and they would pay the bill. So I made plans for a couple days later to take it to my local national tire and battery shop. After living with the truck for a few days, I also noticed that the alignment was way out of whack. So I decided to get an alignment done as well while I was here. So after a couple of hours of waiting around, they determined that all four of the tire monitor sensors were bad. They weren't even the right model for that truck. So they replaced the sensors, gave me an alignment, and I was on my way. Like I said, the dealership paid for the sensors, so all I had to pay for was the alignment, which came out to just short of $100. As you guys know, I'm an avid do-it-yourselfer, so this is the only maintenance that I really need someone else to do for me. So next episode, we'll do some more repairs and maintenance back at home. In the meantime, we're going to switch over to talking about signage. I chose a white truck specifically because I knew I'd be putting signs on the side. This is an important part of marketing for my new company, so I called up my buddy Drew to get some stickers. A few days later, I met up with him to get the stickers installed. Hi, everybody. Drew is one of my longtime subscribers and only lives about 20 minutes away. He has his own print business where he can print on t-shirts and also do stickers like you see here. Alright, now we've got some marketing taken care of so that when I'm driving this truck around, people are going to see it and hopefully give me a call. We will continue with maintenance and repairs in the next episode, but so far we've spent just under $100 on maintenance and $200 on marketing. Thanks for watching this episode. We'll have another one in a couple weeks. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you know when I upload a new video.